In this video, I'm going to show you how to completely delete all the customer VLAN on a Cisco switch and bring back the switch to the manufacturer kind of default. So you can repurpose that switch for a different building or for a different purpose. I'm going to use the Cisco Packer Tracer Lab for this demo. So let's go and grab a switch. I'm going to grab a 3650 fixed power switch. I'm going to bring back the CLI here. The switch is now booting up. It is done. I'm going to say no to the initial config. Enable to go to the privilege mode and do show VLAN. And you can see the switch only have default VLANs. That is uh, VLAN 1 and these are all the backward compatibility VLANs. You cannot delete these five VLANs. Also, you cannot change the name of these five VLANs. So let's go and create a few customer VLANs. Conf T, VLAN 10, name, student, VLAN 20, name, staff, VLAN 30, name, admin, VLAN 99, name, MGMT for network management. And show VLAN, and you see all the VLANs are here. Say, for example, if you are going to repurpose this Cisco switch to another building, you need to wipe out the config. So to wipe out the config, what you normally do is, let me write this to the mem, writing complete, show start. That means you can see the startup config because when you do a write mem, the running config will be saved as a startup config. So you can take a look at the startup config, make sure you have all these VLANs defined on the switch. And you can see, let's look at, I do not see the VLANs here. Let me see the VTP status, show VTP status. It is a server mode. You need to change that to a transparent mode to see all the VLANs in the running config. Because if you do a running config show run, you are not seeing those VLANs. But as soon as you change the VTP mode to transparent, you will see all the VLANs in the running config. VTP mode transparent and show run and now you see all the VLANs are in your running config. So let's look at the startup config. I haven't saved the config yet. Show startup config, go down and I don't see any VLANs in this startup config. So let's do a write mem. Okay, now do a show start. And you see they are saved in your startup config. So I'm going to go back here and then do a write erase. What write erase does is it completely wipe out your startup config. Confirm yes. So it says erase of NVRAM complete. And now do show startup config. And you see startup config is not present. Because when you reload the switch, it boot from this startup config that is saved in the NVRAM. If it doesn't have any startup config, it will come to a blank configuration, which is equal to a manufacturer default brand new switch. I'm going to reload the config without saving it because if you save it, running config will go into the startup config. The switch will boot from your previous running config. So I'm going to reload, proceed with reload. It is reloading now. No. Enable. 
show VLAN. And you see, I still have all of my all the VLAN because the VLAN file is not part of the running config or startup config. So you need to delete the VLAN dot that file from your flash because it is completely saved separately than your running config or startup config. So I'm going to go to type in DIR. This will tell you what you have in your flash type. You see, you have VLAN.dat file. That is the one preserving the VLAN database. So I'm going to delete VLAN.dat. Confirm. So now let's look at the DIR. You see the VLAN.dat file is now gone. Now I'm going to write and reload. Enable show VLAN and now you see all your VLANs is gone. So this is how you delete all the VLAN in addition to doing right erase to erase your running config. So you have to erase all your running config and you also want to delete the VLAN dot that file. If this video is informative to you, give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification for future networking videos.